My name is Lecture Rakilaji, Bishop Kenya Michael Tome, United States of Kenya Republic uh, President prior to 2027 election or 2027 election. Why am I called Lecture Rakilaji? I've taught paramilitary general service unit with all the college here in Arab National Government for 12 years, 2004 to 2016. All right, which is 2016, which is, uh, you know, now 2002 uh, or 4 to 2016, last 12 years. I also thought uh, that's actually paramilitary general service unit, uh, 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 an official force equivalent to Kenya Army. All right, uh, in their capability of uh, spiritual warfare and also physical. Yes, uh, paramilitary general service unit is an official force equivalent to Kenya Army. Which, of course, I'm uh, a civilian spiritual affairs in that field. All right, but now they have their own, uh, you know, pastors or chaplain in that case. I also taught African Church beside our college for many years. That is a narrow county government, the African Church beside our college. And also, Covenant College of Mission, International College of Mission, churches, narrow county government pastors. Why are Kenyans suffering today? That is the topic today. I said I'm a political preacher, United States of Kenya Republic President, pre-27 election, or 2027 elections, and also my Vice President is uh, Honorable His Excellency Nick Wanyonyi Jeremiah Kogubo, uh, a retired Kenyan Brigadier. Also, my Prime Minister is a uh, former Kenya uh, you know, Vice President, His Excellency, you know, Carlos Wemsioka. And my First Lady is in a near future kind of life. Eh? It's none other than uh, Winim Garela Molodinga. Honorable Winim Garela Molodinga, the youngest daughter of our Supreme People's Power President, His Excellency, Dr. Raila Molodinga. And also, uh, other, my, coll my colleagues uh, in, that I want to have mentioned there, yeah, my Vice President, Nick Kubo, Honorable Nick Kubo, and Honorable Carlos Mtiola, they have also second wives, their own second first ladies. So that is actually the nature of the government we are going to have very soon. And it is here, it's tabulated in, uh, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and also Facebook and uh, YouTube. You can see that government there. So why are Kenyans are suffering under the iron fist of our president, which is now outgoing president called Dr. William Samuel Ruta? We are told also uh, suffering has been there uh, since uh, even in Jesus Christ was on earth and even when he left. And it was uh, prior to that time. We are told in July AD 664, which is actually 64 AD Anno Domini, there was a kind of a, a Roman kind of an emperor, which looks like our president, the outgoing president of the government, which was ruling actually Rome at that time in uh, July uh, AD 664, after Jesus left uh, on earth. There's a cruel ruler of Rome was called Nero. All right? Nero tortured the believers, uh, which are called Christians, he actually as a barbaric kind of a spectacle in uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6. So he crucified many uh, good human beings, which are God-fearing human beings, and sewed some into animal skins to be torn apart by the wild dogs, and still others were covered with the pitch, which is petroleum kind of crude oil, and suspend them on the poles and set them on fire to light his festival, uh, evening festivals. He used to have uh, his, uh, you know, uh, close, uh, you know, allies, like now a president. He is now okay having some kind of a crooks in his government, senior public servants, like now ministers or cabinet secretaries in that case. So he used to have a kind of a festivity, kind of a, a banquet, in the evenings and burn these human beings. You can read that one in First Peter chapter 1, verse 6. The Bible says here, all right, the Bible says here clearly, in this, in this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have a heart to suffer, that is now Christians, 
in a grip in all kinds of trials and uh, that in your kind of iron fist kind of rule dictatorial kind of a military dictatorship rule whereby the ruler used to accept control of all resources of a government and all the entire country uh, you know to use it with the own few people while well, others are dying and in my government i said we all rise or fall in that case but in this case now of a government of ruto we are a few people on top there and actually millions and millions are dying below the bottom line so actually you can read that kind of a culture but very kind of culture also in the book of uh, the roman chapter 4 verse 3 and 4 and Acts chapter 19 verses 23 and 27 in that time one roman governor also executed many believers christians and merely did so by them refusing to burn incense to their pagan gods small g and also to pray to that emperor nero as their small god the president of kenya republic is want is having his own is having his own now nameless church he want all of us to worship him people are giving him tithes People are giving him, you know, uh, you know, offerings. The president of Kenya Republic, as I speak now, you know, if you go to current home, you will see there is a big, you know, kind of a, a nameless church there, temple. So people are giving him tithes, and we are in that case they are honoring him. That in that case. So what we want to tell Kenyans, let us not underestimate the kind of suffering we are undergoing in this government of Ruto. All right, let us suppose those super human beings who are now on street even today, our youth and adults, who are professionals and they are not employed in this government. They have actually degrees, PhDs, different types of, you know, uh, you know, uh, skills, but they are not employed in this government. So let us join the hands to, uh, to remove this president from throne. I also uh, thank a lot Kenyans because no one is actually apart from few, are supporting this government, including even the deputy president, okay, vice president, Rigani Kashagwa, as he denounced this government. What? Right? Even today, it is a newspaper. He has also to, spoken today. He said, let us resist this government. And he is now seeing that only less than, you know, one quarter of Kenyans are enjoying their resources. In all 47 county government, 290 consensus, and 1,450 assemblies, regional parliaments. Three quarter of Kenyans, millions, are suffering. So uh, the president is keeping on harming Kenyans. And that's why now I myself have found what will to join hands with the protesters, human activists of Kenya Republic who are wise to topple this president. We have toppled this president last month, July no, June 25th, all right, 2024, yes. He is still clinging on the throne. He doesn't want to leave the seat. So he is now trying to cause a lot of havoc to Kenyans, all right? And uh, we are all now seeing the danger which is impending to each of us. So it is their own peril for anyone to support this government. You are doing so at your own peril. You are endangering your life. Because we will not suppose a kind of a government which is threatening our lives. It's threatening our social kind of fabric life conditions by denying us services. All right? Well, some of them are very basic, like food and water, and also free health care. You can now go to the hospital and uh, there's no medication at all. All right? You will die in the door of a you know, our hospitals today, no medications. The doctors are on strike. You know, even uh, yesterday, the journalists, people are reporting these matters to the whole world to help us. They are being killed anyhow. They are on protest yesterday. So let us join the youth today, continuously, until the president resign or flee from the country. President Ruto. Otherwise, we are all going to be finished in this country. If we don't resist this bad government. All right, so remember today, Ruto is actually torturing all human beings in a, in a kind of a barbaric kind of foolishly kind of rule. All right, without caring 
what actually uh, the whole world is saying about it. The rumors is going on now that some few people, some other few leaders have joined forces together with this man. And I just want to tell them, because they know themselves, when I'm, uh, uh, you know, even uh, a fig tree fall down, he will go with a lot of branches. So this president is going to go with so many human beings. It's like, uh, you know, it's going to be it's just like a tree, a falling tree. He's going to go with so many human beings with him. Because now he have now opted to give out money, to dish out funds to several kind of leaders to join him. All right? In his own wickedness kind of forces. So remember, when a tree is falling down with so many branches, he is going to go with so many you know branches all right and leaves so don't join this president if you are if you are wise i'm warning you because you will go with so many people as we speak now all crimes have been committed within this short period of this president rule we have now people have co committed yet yeah, this president government now has committed what you call you know violent crimes of capital death penalties we have lost so many human beings property Crimes also there, number two, and pity crimes are also committed. We have so many people injured in hospitals, thousands of them. We have so many people are dead. We have so many people are crippled and mimicked, all right, disabled. We have so many who are displaced. We have so many who have dis disappeared in this short period of this president kind of leadership. We have experienced a lot of cases. When the rain comes, there's no blessings. It is having people killing human beings with a lot of enlightening, with a lot of floods. Small, it's very little, you know, some kind of a very minor disease can kill you in Kenya, like common cold, because of no blessings in the country. The country now is experiencing what we call curses. And we lead our leaders who are holy uh, in their lives and upright, transparent kind of leadership, leadership and also accountable leadership whereby we will be told what is happening in our annual development yearly project programs, which is not there. So what we want to tell Kenyans, let, us, let you not be a scapegoat of this government. For you to join the, uh, you know, the falling tree government, which will go with you. Let us join hands to support all the protesters today and henceforth until the president resign or flee out of the country. That's my word. So today again, I'm urging all protesters, be it young and old, all right, to join hands, all right, without any fear, because the Lord God is with the human beings who are with him. And that's why even in Joshua 1, 9, you need to be brave and courageous, because the Lord will fight for you. You only need to stand firm in your own, you know, uh, whatever you are doing. In Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. The Lord God is going to fight for us, oppress human beings. I'm speaking in the Arab national government, and Pakas is for, uh, a village. We are losing so many human beings because of lack of resources. We are burying people all day, all, all day long. And there is no one who is going to help us, except ourselves to help ourselves, and also God to now to intervene to help us. You cannot stay in a house and rot inside, all right? When the president and these cronies, kind of uh, politicians, are eating food and throw them to dogs, it is very bad. So I congratulate also the vice president for joining us, you know, those few, uh, those uh, majority of us who are refusing this government. And also I congratulate even uh, Honorable, you know, Her Excellency also Mother Karua, okay, for joining hands for this multitude of human beings who are seeing the truth of the matter against the government. He's also she is also in my government to my liberation party, which is now the one now which is now uh, expected to rule Kenya. I myself, being the president, Bishop Kenya Michael Otome, Vice President, His Excellency uh, Nico Gobo, for, uh, uh, Prime Minister, I said it actually, Honorable Kalonzo Msioka, our, sec our first and second ladies are also there. Mine first ladies, none other than in near future, Honorable Inimga Raila Molodinga. East African Legislative Member of Parliament currently he is with me and I am going to officiate our wedding very soon. Alright? Alright? 
but we are already we are actually we are tuned together all right no objection so far even though i'm going to be sworn in today he is ready because there's no objection to hold the bible the one i'm having here all right so remember it is here new international version bible he is ready to hold this bible no objection as my first lady to help me in politics yes master's degree in political science is the youngest daughter of our Supreme People's Power President, His Excellency, Dr. Raila Molodinga. I don't, uh, they have now, that OD, ODM now as no presidential aspirant. I am the only one. Because that part of the Tumai Liberation Movement, we are uh, as mere kind of a, a, you know, coalition. So I don't have any, uh, anybody now in that party who is actually going to fire for ODM, Orange Democratic Movement Party, ticket. It's only me. Okay, and uh, we name Garela Molodinga. So I also thank actually the Supreme People's Power President to have let go some four, uh, you know, of his ministers to join, to go and eat food, all right, with the uh, Ruto for the short days because they better even do that rather than even allowing him to eat the whole source of food even for two weeks, which is going to be there probably because we have toppled him already. So, Raila Molodinga's Excellencies, Raila Molodinga's Excellencies, he have not done anything wrong so far. If he, he have allowed even four of his, you know, um, yeah, members of uh, parliament to go and eat that food, like Mbadi, Joho, Oparanya, all right, and, uh, and, uh, another one, they have four of them, to go and see what, is that, what kind of food are these people eating there. It's also not bad. So uh, I don't actually blame my in-law. Uh, let I uh, have his daughter with me, uh, and we are married already online. Surely you can nowadays marry online, and you can also, you know, purchase things online. You can even order vehicles. You can order anything you wish online. So I ordered that girl to be with me, and there's no problem. So uh, we don't actually. Uh, we are seeing now Nero is now. Uh, type of uh, uh, Nero, Emperor Nero uh, uh, leadership or is now like our president. You know, Nero couldn't quickly the criticism of people of that time. He, so by doing that, he used what he called deflection to kill human beings. So let's take care also because this president is killing us socially, spiritually, physically and economically called Ruto. Let's take care. Let, if you have something, give your neighbor. If you have cloth, give your neighbor. If you have some coins in your pocket, give your neighbor. Because this president now uh, is actually trying to deflect, you know, uh, the attention of human beings by saying they have actually employed, you know, four uh, ODM, uh, you know, members of parliament to be in this, you know, ministerial kind of uh, uh, leadership. Imagine now four people out of millions of Kenyans dying. He's not helping anyone. He's, yeah, so he's trying to, call to, you know, to quench his criticism. To be seen to be a good person, but it's not. Kenyans are not uh, this generation of dot com. They are not uh, mad people. We are seeing the truth of the matter, and we cannot be cheated. There is no deception that can uh, you know swear us to join Ruto forces. No. So I uh, also want to tell Kenyans that you not blame even ODM because uh, for. Uh, those four people have gone to Ruto, let them go and witness even what's happening there, all right? Because now we cannot even get some of the issues, like they are, the way they are eating money. But if they are there, like now Bundy being the national treasurer uh, in this government, we will know how much money they have wasted even. Because they have wasted a lot of money for this grace period of two, 2022 to 2024. There is no annual development project programs yearly. From year 2022 to 2003, 2023, and 2324, this time now around. We don't know what is there. So, Bandy from ODM being there as the national, you know, treasurer, minister of treasury, we will know even the truth of the matter because he's a very straightforward man. He will tell us the fully records how this money have been misappropriated by the government. So I also thank actually uh, His Excellency Engineer uh, Supreme People's Power President Raila Molodinga to allow even Ben Bandi to be there to tell us the truth and other leaders also. So remember today, uh, you know, the process will continue unless you enforce to make sure that the president will not be 
uh, continuing harming us economically, socially, spiritually, and physically. We need to go home and use the resources now he has already taken from Kenyans, poor taxpayers' money. He has a lot of money. So remember this government, uh, it is there, you can check it. Uh, it is called actually to my liberation movement party kind of a reformation movement party and i said uh, the leaders are there and don't be muffled also because we are going to have even obama later on to succeed me president obama his excellency dr uh, uh, obama all right uh, is coming to rule kenyans not me saying but god all right he was here shortly when he was on uh, on throne, but now he has retired, but he's a very young man. Kenyan told him to come back and rule us. 99% of Kenyan at that time. We are, I was just here in Nairobi. So uh, we, that's why I formulated this kind of a government. With even the wife of the uh, president now, on, uh, outgoing president, Honorable First Lady, you know, Arisha Shabbat Ruto, is here. The assistant minister of livestock and uh, you know uh, agriculture and livestock development, and also an MP in my government because my government will look like Kano, uh, the the you know President Ruto government. I don't have secretaries like now this government called cabinet secretary. He has no ministers. Oh, everyone is a secretary of Ruto. Okay, there's no such kind of portfolio position of ministerial position in this government. It is why everybody is just secretary to Ruto, but now, now my government will have ministers, official kind of ministers with flags, government state flag, to show that these people are high profile dignitaries, dignitaries, all right, in that government. Ministers, which will be members of parliament, 22 of them, assistant ministers, 22 of them, and members of parliament with the flags, actually. And their vehicles will be branded Minister M. Okay, with a flag there, and AM, assistant minister, with a flag there, and they will be earning money more than even them ordinary MPs and senators, and allowances, because they are representing the government in parliament. So I uh, remember that uh, even uh, I have also high credit, you know, uh, ambassadors here. Mother Karua, Honorable Mother Karua is going to Britain. His Excellency also, uh, Mother Karua said he's going to Britain. His Excellency also, Professor Kendeki, is going to Israel. His also Excellency, uh, you know, Joseph Leukton, is going to America. And the rest also will go to the place of their own choice. Like His Excellency Rabat Tuju, like His Excellency Kiraitu Murungi, like His Excellency Gideon Shepsheng, like His Excellency, you know, Matthew Galgalo Alake, who was my classmate, is from, uh, you know, Borana Oromo, uh, it's actually uh, at, uh, you know, Sololo. His Excellency Wilson Sosion is going to a place of his own choice, country. His Excellency also is a Ruto, the former Bomet, uh, you know, I believe so, uh, governor. His Excellency also Carlos of Junior, the current, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, cup governor of, uh, I think, Kitui. All right. And also, uh, you know, His Excellency Babo Wino, uh, current MP of, uh, you know, Mbakasis, where I am now. Uh, also, His Excellency, His Excellency uh, Grace Archbishop Elud Wabukala. Okay, and His Excellency Najib Balala. Among others, His Excellency also Mutunga. His Excellency also Professor Kindig, I said uh, about him. And also others. All okay? They are going uh, to the place of their own choice. Like His Excellency also so, so even two year, the one now is a uh, Kenya Defense, uh, you know, minister. Are also uh, uh, Chief Justice, Ka Mother Kome, or His Excellency, Her Excellency, Mother Kome is also an ambassador in my, my, you know, in that in this government. So we will have also ladies like the one I've mentioned now. Okay, among other men also, I say this is also Najib Balala, he is also there. Among others. And my Minister of, you know, Treasury, National Treasury is His, His Excellency, you know, uh, Sumra. Okay? Okay? is uh, Sumra. He's from an Waindi kind of a background heritage. And my Assistant Minister is uh, Honorable Naisulal Suda. So this government is there. Minister of Land is His Excellency, you know, Atoli. 
and so forth, a minister of, you know, uh, spiritual affairs and social protection, His Excellency Samuel Saningo, okay, okay, he was actually a chief inspector, he's now retired of uh, police, okay, he's now going to come to be, he's a pastor, he's a reverend, His Excellency, uh, His Grace also, Excellency, Samuel Saningo, he is going to be uh, the minister of social and uh, religious, religious uh, you know, affairs. We will have a minister of uh, uh, spiritual affairs also and social protection, like Kasim Itani and other development. So he's going to be the minister. And also we have also uh, Honorable Imam Ali over here in Bakazi. He will be going to be an assistant minister, you know, representing also, uh, you know, we want to build, uh, you know, Islam. And we want to have a lot of mosques, building mosques, and also Christian temples, churches, and then we want to employ also pastors. I have pastors already in my government. Those one are on also. They are going to be state pastors. And they will also serve their own the churches. Wherever they are, whichever denomination they belong. But it will be paid by the government. So we have also those pastors. Uh, you know, and our monetary impact currency money. We are going to use, uh, you know, American dollars. Because now it will be an interim kind of a government. As we look forward. To have Obama now to have a, a, a you know a, a government later on also to be our president, so we are going to have also requested already United States of America to help us uh, to have a monetary impact kind of a currency, which will replace immediately Kenya currency for us to be able to sell the the kind of petroleum crude oil we have now to many other countries, eh? because now Kenya is an oil producing country. So we need a better kind of currency, which will meet now the standard of exportation of that kind of uh, oil, produce, uh, oil, oil production. And other, you know, minerals, like also, uh, we have to have industries in Western, uh, because we have gold there in Western, Kakamega. We also to improve actually, you know, you know uh, sugar industries. And also Webuye, that is Webuye, uh, also paper industry and also uh, Mimia's industry, and also, you know, uh, you know, rice kind of industry, you know, and also meat eh, kind of industries, in all these pastoral areas, we are going to have in every county, so that we will also store uh, our meat, eh, okay, to use it in a better way when uh, there's, we are struck by, you know, what we call floods, or any other disasters, like, you know, drought. So uh, we are going to use that kind of, whichever county we are, we are also going to have uh, a kind of, uh, you know, iron factory because now in Machakos, and also uranium to develop some kind of, uh, you know, our weapons. So we have uranium also in, you know, those areas like uh, Machakos. And also oil, we are going to even, uh, you know, drill oil in, uh, you know, Kisumu. It is there. And also, it also found in El Cayo, Maracuy. And also Marsabit, we are going to reopen the one Moya's drill already, which is now closed in Karigi. And also use that kind of gas and also wind power kind of electricity found in Marsabit. And also we are going to have enough now oil production in the country. And also we are going to reclaim this kind of, uh, you know, parasitos which the president have sold, like now Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, other parasitos also, like Jomo Kenyatta, you know, uh, International Convention Center, and other areas also, the president has sold actually for settles, about more than 10. We want to reclaim them back. And also SGR, we are going to pay those many and reclaim them back because now the country has no any other income if we are to, you know, to lease all those kind of, uh, you know, parasitos of government, like your Makenya International Airport, you know, and also SGR, the Standard Gauge Railway, and also all the, you know, uh, these big, uh, you know, uh, buildings, like Kenyatta International Convention Center, and many others. The president now has started, you know, trying to, to list, to sell them, or to sell them, and then have a, a small share. We will have a full share for all government for status. So that is actually what's going to happen. Read this government, is there. I thought, may God bless you, my human being living in Kenya, and let us join hand, and we are going to employ also, you know, youths, school one and those without papers. Because to shoot, 
or to, to donate bombs does not require any kind of education. It only need practical skills, or right? and a methodology for you tactics to do that. Although may God bless you, human being, and well, uh, bless you all human beings in Kenya. And remember, this government is. Oh, I I cannot actually keep on saying everything in it, but go to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, you will get it, and. Uh, you will enjoy it. Even the Minister of Health is the first lady of Kenya Republic, one of them. The wife of our retired president, Urumagi Kenyatta. Margaret Kenyatta is going to be the Minister of Health. And you want to choose whom you want to be an assistant minister or in that docket. And also, Supreme People's Power President is also a Minister of Territorial Water and Fisheries Dev uh, Development, uh, you know, uh, Ministerial Post. Dr. Excellency First Lady, uh, Dr. Ida, uh, you know, Raila Amolodinga. She's my in law now, you know, the mother of my wife, uh, you know, in fear, near future. So he's also going to have uh, to choose whom he is going to have uh, as an assistant minister, an MP, in that docket. That's, the, that's how this government of mine is going to be transparent so that you will not blame anyone. If you are, you know, your assistant minister is not working, because you are the one who will choose for you, whom you think will work with you without any distress in that case. Although may God bless you, my being living in Kenya and beyond. I remember today is a pro uh, people are going on protest, protesting against the government, which is actually harming them. Let's join hands, okay? Whatever you are, and. Uh, Let's join hands and pray to one another also. Otherwise, may God bless you by living in Kenya and beyond. Amen.